So with this question, we've got the 32 year old female with a DVT. So the DVT is a, a clot in the deep veins of the leg. So how does this clot form? Well, we go back to Virchow's triad, which is a combination of stasis, coagulability and injury. So we need to have injury to the, the vein. We need to have stasis. So poor moving blood and coagulability. This is, means it's likely to clot. The best way to remember this is this acronym thrombus. So here we have T for trauma. So this is, could be any kind of generally lower leg trauma. We've got hormones. This generally re refers to female hormones and um, hormonal replacement treatments. Recent hospital visits, recent hospital, um, orthopedics, so anything to do with bones, M, malignancies, so cancer, uh, B, blood disorders, so this would be things that are more likely to put you into a clotting state or thicker blood like polysynthemia. Um, old age, and we could also have obesity. S, we had surgery. E, immobilization, immobile. And then finally, S, this is a tough one, um, serious air travel. <laughs> uh, I couldn't come up with another S, but air travel is a good one. Um, again, that's to do with stasis travel. So now going to the question. So we've got the 32 year old female, atherosclerosis, no, atherosclerosis only occurs in the arterial blood. Bed bound, yes, because that would be immobile. Um, pregnant, yes, pregnancy because hormones, so particularly estrogen and progesterone, put you in more of a coagular state. Hypertension, no, because hypertension is in the arterial system. Heparin, no, because heparin would actually decrease coagulability. And then finally, total knee replacement, yes, because you've probably got orthopedics here and you've also got surgery here. So now you know the answers and hopefully you can see a better way to remember what causes DVT and don't forget the triad.